Yes. So, have you ever wondered if the copy on your sales page is up to the task? Is it going to convert clicks to customers? Well, I had a prospective client ask me that the other day. And so I thought I'd put together this little presentation that will show you how to write a high converting sales page. And you might ask, okay, so why would I want to do that? Well, there's a couple of good reasons. One is if you're in business, you probably know that to be successful in business, to have a profitable business, you want to reduce your basis at all points. So you're keeping your costs down, increasing your revenues. That's where your profit margin is. That's where you can really grow your business and grow the ability to have an impact in the world. So when it comes to having a sales page it, as part of your marketing funnel, you can take your chances. You can either write the copy for the page yourself or you can hire a professional copywriter. So by knowing how to write an effective sales page, you can keep your cost down and you can increase the chance of uh, getting higher revenues as well as reducing your risk. So if you write the page yourself, obviously that's going to keep your cost down in terms of you don't have to hire a professional copywriter to do it for you. It also reduces your risk if you know how to write a high converting sales page. It reduces the risk that it will be a failure that it'll bomb, and that does happen, even to the best copywriters. And it'll also give you the confidence knowing that, okay, yeah, so this is about as likely to succeed as anything. It's it's certainly worth putting it out there in the marketplace, sending traffic to it and testing it. And on the other hand, if you decide to hire a professional copywriter, it's also very useful to know how to write copy so that, number one, you can recognize a good copywriter when you see one, when you see what they can do, see what their work looks like. And number two, so that you can work with that copywriter, get the very best result. You can tell when the copy is good. You can go back and forth with intelligent dialogue and, uh, and really hammer out uh, a good sales page. So there's a lot of reasons why you would want to be able to write a high converting sales page if you're doing any digital marketing um, is that number one, it reduces your risk, reduces your cost. Number two, obviously it'll help you increase your revenues if you get a page that does a good job of converting clicks to customers. Okay. So uh, that being said, let's take a look at what I'm pretty sure is a very successful sales page. My guess is that the sales page is part of a million dollar, if not a multi-million dollar campaign. Um, this was produced by Ryan Levesque of uh, the Ask Method, and he recently launched a product called the Ask Academy. So what you're gonna see here is a, sec a series of screenshots, and uh, what I've done is broken up uh, that sales, this sales page that um, was published recently into different chunks so that we can kind of take one at a time and see the sales page as a whole. It's it's a fairly long page, not actually over long, but um, that way uh, we can look at each chunk and, and see what, uh, you know, the, all the different parts are to it, okay? So uh, the first section is, um, this is the very top, and as you can see, we've got um, a, a timer at the very top, um, and we've got this very distinct uh, call to action button, uh, get instant access, that would take you to the order form. Um, and uh, notice the contrasting color, notice the fact that it's at the upper right hand part of the screen. That's where heat map, heat map studies have shown that that's where people's eyes tend to go. That's some of your best real estate. Um, it's one of the first places people look for whatever reason is over at that top right. So you wanna have a call to action right there um, for people who are, I mean, j number one, it can just plant the idea that this is going to be uh, an offer that you could get instant access to. And number two, for somebody that already knows it's what they want, if their eye happens to rest back up there, they've got that button and can instantly click on it. 
Also notice that we've got a video here. Uh, I, I'm not going to go into the script and what happens on that video other than to say it's an extremely effective um, sales video. Ryan goes into a great deal of content and explaining and uh, providing really valuable information. And then that's followed up by the pitch to join the academy, which is a logical follow-on to um, the training that he's providing in uh, in this video. And so you'll notice that uh, it's, it's not just a random image showing up um, as this thumbnail for the video before it starts playing. It is actually a very, very, I'm sure, thoughtfully crafted headline. So the five steps to making six figures online um, has a lot going forward in terms of a headline in and of itself. Uh, then the subhead selling information and expertise that makes it um, certainly more unique. Um, gives the author's name. There's some credibility there. A lot of people know the name Ryan Levesque. Um, and it's also at this, uh, what they call the eyebrow, this little section above the main headline where it says um, beyond the ask method. Uh, that also gives it something a little bit unique to set it apart from what people might already be thinking is something that uh, Ryan is offering because they're because a lot of people know him for the ask method and that sets this apart again making it unique which helps um, really kind of draw you in to what's happening that's a, that's a good headline um, there's also you can see a little bit of branding here um, and then notice there's also a caption so it's not just the video itself there's a caption here um, and the copy here is also designed to bring you in, to really draw you in. If this is somebody, you know, if you are someone who uh, these benefits are going to appeal to, having a um, having grown multiple businesses from zero to 10, 20 or 40,000 per month, those are implied benefits that you will get, you know, when you watch this video. And there's also credibility uh, talking about the number of subscribers and, and how Ryan has built the business. So there's a lot going for it right there in that video in terms of copy that really draws you in. And that's just this section of uh, the top of the page. This is the above, by the way, this is the above the fold section, which means this is the first part that you see when you first land on the page. Um, and, but there's also this whole section here, which is in a sense, the main headline and call to action, right? So let's just take, let's just look at how this copy is constructed and see if it's got what it takes to be successful. So the fact that it's new, that's always going to get someone's attention. You know, we're fascinated with the new and we're curious. It generates curiosity, which is a powerful driver for interest. The, um, the Ask Academy Founders Circle special offer. Okay, so there's something here where you um, are going to be able to uh, get nine months of this program um, with this eleven thousand dollars in free bonuses. If that's all true, you know, then it's really appealing. So the so if this is for you, if this is the type of offer that has the benefits that you'd be interested in, then you're probably saying to yourself, well, you know, gosh, if if that's the case, then that I'm in. Let's see what else he's got to say to you know, detailed out and back it up. Uh, and then, so there's some detail in this subhead here, uh, talks about 12 months unlimited access, an entire library, laser trainings, you know, gives you the idea that it's very precise and um, devoted to helping you succeed. So a lot of benefits in this subhead. And then um, it sort of has this additional bonus and then again, a call to action. Yes, get instant access. So, so no waiting for that. Uh, also notice that in addition to the button, there's also a text link directly below that. That from studies I've seen, for whatever reason, uh, that also gets a good amount of clicks. So it increases the odds that you're going to get good conversions um, by simply having that text link there that does the same thing, takes you to the same page as the button. And then lastly, you'll notice the credit card symbols here that implants the idea. Okay, you know, get out your wallet, pull that credit card out, um, and it has the image of the, of the lock 
giving you the idea that, okay, this is safe, um, it's a safe place to transfer your money, okay? So these are some features in this page that um, right at the top, this is critical, you know, you've only got a few seconds to capture somebody's interest. And uh, it looks to me with all of that going for it, um, for uh, the target audience that Brian is going after, this, this is probably doing a really good job. So let's move down to the next section. First thing you may notice is that this timer, and I'm going to scroll back here for a second, you see this timer follows you down. Okay, so this, this bar with the timer and the call to action button actually is going to follow you all the way down. Let's just look at a couple of these other sections. You can see um, these aren't like separate bars throughout the page. It's just that as you scroll through the page, that bar follows you, okay? So let's look at this next section. Again, we've got a, um, a benefit-driven headline. This is a little bit more answering the question of, okay, what do I get um, you know, with this fantastic offer that I just read about in the headline? Uh, so again, this is going to be for somebody who is interested in growing a six-figure business with just selling information and expertise online. That's, that's kind of the, uh, the hook and the, you know, the main big idea with this whole page and this whole product. Um, and so it's, it's stated right here uh, as a benefit, you know, if you, if you continue reading. So let's say that captures your interest. Then the next thing is you're going to want to find out more about that. So you're going to read this next section. Um, it asks a provocative question, which you probably are going to answer in a certain direction, right? So you're going to say, you know, ever think you know everything about there is to know about something until you found out it was just the tip of the iceberg? Well, you know, if you're, unless you really do feel like you know it all, um, you've probably had that experience. So you're probably going to answer yes, which is going to, um, you know, lead to coming down to the next section. So he calls that the iceberg surprise. That's a way of kind of creating some unique interest. It's like, you know, have you ever heard of that before? Hmm. No, it's something that's new. So, you know, the, the way the brain works is that something is novel. It stimulates curiosity and interest. It's sort of like we're compelled to follow through and find out, okay, what is that? So what does he mean by this iceberg surprise? So now, again, kind of drawing you into the next section of copy. Uh, and then again, the detail here, same. Uh, and it, it talks about lots going on beneath the service that makes a difference in their results. And then he talks about the five pillars. Um, and that's going to lead on into the next section. Now, the thing about five pillars is, number one, anything having to do with a number, particularly an odd number, um, captures interest. But also, this is a way of taking something that actually is a very, very complex product and making it feel simple, right? So, so now that we're into this next section, we've got these five bullets, and they're all, you know, they're interesting in terms of the color and the icons that are in them. And, you know, our brains just love little pictures like this that give us a hook to kind of um, to hook, that, hook that idea onto, right? So if it was just text, it's a little more abstract, but with a picture and it has a color around it, it just is so much easier for our brains to say, okay, I get it. Um, I see what he's saying here. And he's got these five different aspects from choose through reach. And, um, and then it talks about, this is a, this is sort of a, uh, if you know anything about um, NLP, Neuro Linguistic, uh, what does that stand for? Neuro Linguistic Programming. Um, there's a little bit of NLP here um, where he's stating, as a founding member of Ask Academy, which is assuming that you're about to become a member. It doesn't ask you to buy. It's just assuming that, that you have already bought. So this sort of um, placing you in the picture of having already bought you know, it, it just puts you into a frame of mind well, where, well, naturally, you've got to, you know, take care of whatever needs to be done to, to get to that place because now that you've pictured it, it's hard to unpicture it, right? It's a very, very powerful um, technique right there. And then again, it, it's, it just tends to draw you on further down the page. So 
now we're going to find out um, a little bit more. It talks about, you know, what it is that you get. The term uh, you, you know, this combination of words that you or you will get is, is those are, that's one of the most powerful phrases in direct response copy. And uh, it's just a, a it, it describes something that the person who's interested in this product is, is now going to be even more interested in. Um, describes exactly what that is, a certificate, a t-shirt. In the previous videos leading into this sales page, um, you know what that t-shirt is. It's been kind of made very clear and, and you probably have a pretty good picture of it by this point in time, okay? So lots of interest in this page, again, drawing you down further and further into the page, um, magnetically pulling you, you know, through the copy here. Um, so the next thing is we're talking, he's talking about the benefits or rather the bonuses These are really um, sort of benefit rich bonuses that um, are being described that are going to build the value of this thing, right? So the idea um, here is with your page, you want to build as much value as you can so that, uh, so that your reader really, you know, just, it's impossible to say no, that we really want to take our reader to that point. So we've got, uh, this first bonus. Um, well, actually he's talking about these free bonuses. So that there's going to be several, as you'll see here, as we scroll down. Um, and, uh, so the first one is this, um, bonus number one, he's got it numbered. Again, it's just a hook for, you know, our brains find it easier to remember, you know, checklists, numbered um, things, you know, up to about five is about as much as we can remember. But it, again, it, it hooks, it's sort of like Velcro for the brain, right? Having these things like numbers. Um, and then the webinar bootcamp, again, that's something that's of keen interest to somebody who would be purchasing this product. Uh, and then the copy here describes in detail what that is. It's very rich in images, three days, secret headquarters, Georgetown, Texas. You know, these are all, these all create word pictures in your mind so that it makes it uh, very interesting and you want to find out more. And then, of course, there's a value here um, that is then, you know, it's the fact that it's crossed out and says it's free. Well, that's got to be intriguing, right? So how do you get something that's worth $5,000 for free? And then, you know, we're going on to bonus number two. And just in the interest of time, I'm going to kind of skip through these, but you get the idea e each time there's a, a, a strong benefit to the, the reader of this page and the fact that um, you can get this highly valuable thing for free. You know, it's just very intriguing. Here's number three, going on to um, a fast action bonus. So we had the, you know, bonuses number one, two, three. Now we have this fast action bonus kind of changing the pace a little bit and suggesting that, um, you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to delay in, in taking advantage of this offer. Uh, so then let's look at what's next. By this point, the idea is that you, you've seen enough to where you feel like um, there's just no doubt that this is something you've got to have. And so you just want to know, all right, what are the next steps to, um, to make that a reality? Notice, by the way, um, I think we had this a little bit further up. These little arrows, um, the sort of triangular shape pointing down through the page. Let's see if we can see some more of those, I think. Um, because those benefits are all in one section. Okay, so it's not, it, do, it doesn't show up real clearly here, but you'll see this um, in an effective landing page or sales page where to draw your eye further down into the copy, down towards the call to action, there are these triangles that really, you know, they're just kind of like arrows. We tend to, our eyes tend to follow those into the copy here. So now by this point, um, the statement of here's how to get instant access is really sort of answering the question of of the reader who, um, you know, assuming the copy has been successful up to this point, which it looks like there's a pretty good chance it has, assuming it's the right reader. Um, that reader has got to be thinking, okay, how do I get it? And here's the answer. How 
to get your instant access. Notice it's, notice the timing here. You, you get it instantly. There's no no delay. We all love things. You know, instant gratification is kind of the name of the game for us these days. So we're assured that there will be no hesitation. Um, and then look at the copy here and how he's talking in the reader's voice. So it says, yes, I'm ready. Okay. So it's not second person anymore. It's first person. I'm ready to get access to this exclusive, um, this exclusive program. Right. And, uh, and then the, the, the check marks, right? So again, recapping, um, what you get, uh, talk about that it's a special price, limited time and opportunity, the things that you're getting. Again, these are all really powerful concepts, powerful words packed into, um, very, very, uh, tight copy. There's no, it's like all the, all the air gaps are taken out. There's not a word wasted here. And you'll notice that with really effective copy is that, um, it can be hard getting there, but you, you know, the really f most effective copy is, um, is airtight. It, it has no words wasted. And so you see that here again, recapping, putting the check marks here, the, you know, the little bits of color adds interest and excitement. And then, um, this is actually part of that same, uh, page. I just broke it up so that we could fit it onto the screen here. Uh, and then again, it's talking the first person, explaining what needs to happen, all I need to do, right? Um, and also notice uh, the title case of the copy here. So um, the the major words here are all uh, capital. They're, you know, the first letter is capitalized. The, the, uh, the phrases that are emphasized are all caps. Things like that just help the eye really focus on um, sort of the importance of the message. Notice here that, again, you get the feeling of a bargain. Everybody likes a bargain. In fact, we're inclined not really to take action unless we feel that there's a bargain that will go away if we don't take action right away. So here he's got um, this uh, regular price crossed out, and you can see that the um, the actual price is just you know, if you do some quick math, you can tell it's a fifth of that, so a small fraction. But he's also spelling it out right here. You save $2,001 and then putting it in terms of the percentage savings. So having both the the numerical savings as well as, or the dollar value savings as well as the percentage savings clarifies to the reader exactly, um, you know, what's what's at stake here, Okay. Um, also, annual price. This is a um, if you if you were to look at the program, that is actually describing something that um, he talks about uh, in the video sales in the yeah the video sales letter is that this is a subscription and that you're locked in um, at the you're basically grandfathered in at a lower price than what it'll eventually become. So then again. Um, Notice that the consistency of the button, yes, get instant access, parallels this button we've been seeing all along. That type of consistency just gives the reader a sense of confidence, you know, that it's not all higgledy-piggledy, that there's, you know, this is a very professional um, type of experience. It's, it's just a, it's a well put together experience that the, the reader is inclined to say, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with, you know, moving forward on this. Again, notice the text link directly below the button and uh, the credit card icons and the secure checkout symbol. Um, there's, you know, then of course the bottom of the page in, in you know, kind of smaller type, uh, is, you know, the copyright or the rights reserved as well as, you know, basically the legal things and a contact link. Um, those are all kind of necessary for, you know, having an effective page. But here's the key thing to notice is that if we go all the way back to the top of the page, there's nothing to do on this page. There's no other menus. There's no other links. There's nothing to do on this page except to click to get instant access. It's a, it's a single purpose. It's completely focused on just doing this one thing. Okay. And that's critical for a uh, for an online sales page.
Okay, so those are some of the things that you can incorporate into uh, your writing on a sales page, or if you're hiring a professional copywriter, make sure that, that those things are all included. Is that a comprehensive list? Or are there other things that you could do? Well, no, it's not a comprehensive list. And yeah, there are other things that you could do um, to make this page more effective. But if you have those things going for you, I think you're, you're going to have a pretty effective page. And, and let's just, to, to kind of round this out so that you've got a, a way to um, be able to do this yourself, let's create an actual step-by-step um, uh, -step checklist of the things that we saw on this page, some of the things that we saw so that you'll be able to kind of use this for a checklist for your own sales page, okay? So first off, before we jump into this, I just want to um, give you a, uh, a framework that's that's used here, as you'll see in a moment. Um, this was, uh, if you have ever read the book, Made to Stick by Chip, Chip and Dan Heath, um, you'll understand this, um, this kind of framework that they use called the success framework, um, where they create a simple, well, what they're saying is that ideas that really stick with us, um, such as, uh, you know, putting a man on the moon, right? Very sort of dynamic idea that uh, launched a whole amazing effort, um, you know, for a whole generation starting in the 60s. Um, is that ideas like that uh, tend to break down into these five dimensions and they created um, this little acronym, SUCCESS. And just so you know, I'm not spelling it wrong, that's that's their acronym is that um, if you can tell a simple, unexpected, concrete, credible, emotional story, then it's very likely that um, your idea is going to stick. So we'll come back to that in a second. I just wanted to, didn't want you to think I, I'm misspelling things here. Excuse me while I get a drink of water here for a second. Okay, so again, let's kind of recap what we saw on this page. Um, and this um, will create a checklist for you so that uh, you can incorporate some of these things into the next sales page that you write. So number one, um, we notice the timer. Those tend to be extremely effective. They create action on the page uh, and they really, um, you know, it's hard to ignore something like that. It really gives you the feeling, that, okay, I got to take action. And it, it tells you exactly when you need to do that by. Uh, second, we notice there's a call to action at the top right. Um, of the screen on that uh, above the fold section, and that is a contrasting color, so that it it really um, you know doesn't blend in, uh, stands out, and uh, and also gains attention that way. Next is um, we've got a video with a compelling headline and caption on the thumbnail, and uh, you know in most cases you're not going to want a self-starting video. Um, sometimes you know your people who are going to be seeing the page are going to be at work and it might not be, you know, that convenient for this thing to start playing instantly. So um, usually it'll be a click to start video is the best approach. And um, so that thumbnail then becomes really an important part of the page. And what we noticed was that the way he structured it here was it was a really, uh, it in and of itself, it had a compelling headline and a caption below it. Okay. Uh, next is the, um, actual headline itself um, was uh, very compelling. The headline and subhead plus the call to action button all tied together uh, in a way that made it, you know, almost irresistible from the start, especially if you knew what went before it. And by the way, one thing about this particular case study is it's important to understand that um, in, in no matter uh, what your sales page is going to be that it's really key to understand where people are coming from uh, before they hit this page. What was their experience at the time they hit this page? And in this case, um, this sales page was basically, I think, like the fifth or the sixth step in a whole se sequence of uh, major pieces of content that um, the viewer had already seen. So Ryan created I believe it was five, maybe six videos um, that contained valuable, interesting, engaging content uh, for the type of reader that he wanted to attract. So by the time they got to his sales page, they already knew and were kind of predetermined uh, to buy 
by the way that he created that whole set of content. So um, all of this, the headline and the subhead and the call to action um, were based on the fact that people already knew um, a lot uh, heading into that page. And that's critical for when you're creating the page is to know, you know, did your people just come off of a Facebook ad? Um, did they read an article of yours? Have they been reading your blog post, you know, your blog for a while? Um, so forth. It really is critical to know where people are coming from in order to create and craft a, a, a compelling headline and subhead. So we saw that on the above the fold section. And again, so critical to do that because you have so little time uh, for people to really, um, you know, engage with you. you. You've got to capture their interest in just a few seconds, two, two to five seconds. Um, we noticed a focus on benefits throughout. Um, there, there was some talk of features, but um, much of it was really about the benefit for the, the reader of the page. Um, also notice that the tone of the page was very conversational, very friendly, um, wasn't talking at the, the, uh, the viewer of the page or the reader. It really kind of created a sense of, hey, it's you and me, and we've both been here, and you know, just kind of like you're sitting across the table from somebody um, having a cup of coffee type of feel to it. So keeping it conversational um, is really a key point in your uh, in your copy. Um, having this success checklist. So let's look at um, where we saw that in action here. Uh, let's look at some concrete or, or, or some of the um, the pieces of that. Right. So uh, if if we look at let's just take this section right here um, where. Uh, he's making it very simple. Um, there's some things that are unexpected. So remember where we had the uh, the iceberg idea. Let's see if we can find it here. There we go. The iceberg surprise, right? So there's a little bit of unexpected there. Um, it's he's making it concrete with um, you know these icons kind of give it a sense of that. This is all you know. It's an intangible product. It's just information. So how do you make things like that concrete? 